Hello YouTube and welcome to the World Center of Racing, the Daytona International Speedway for a new season of the MFM PRA Holiday and Cup Series. I'm Stephen Moore alongside Harry Jones here for what is to be the start of a prestigious season in the MFM PRA Holiday and Cup Series. Harry, we're here to uh, we're here to start off here and Kenny, Kenny Murray the winner of last season's Daytona 500 picks up right where he left off here by winning the poll. Are you ready for a new for a new season? Oh hell yeah! Um, this season, I think it's gonna be better than last one. Me here, they always try to improve their seasons. With the new body style, it could create better racing, faster racing. The drive could become more in effect. You might see some better bump drafting as the bumpers do line up with this car body. Another thing is, a lot of drivers have swapped around new teammates. Will these guys like the new teammates? We'll have to find out. And it's just Daytona, it's luck of the draw. If you're there at the end, you're there. Just gotta make the right moves. Uh, if you're stuck in the back, you know, you got the rest of the season to pick, pick right back up. So, I mean, anything can happen at Daytona. It's gonna be a great race. I cannot wait to see who comes out on top of Victory Lane. Drivers, start your engines! Yes, we got the command back for this season. Um, how, uh, racing, stock car racing in the past here at the restrictor plate tracks, Daytona, Talladega, and the other restrictor plates on this circuit for this season have shown that po starting position uh, really does not matter very much. But it's where you yeah, are at the end. Today, yeah, what you're going to see today is that inside line being very dominant. You know, you don't see the outside line be very dominant here in the past. And I would not really expect it to be too dominant here today. Because we're on the same track as we were in here last season. If you watch that race, it was a low line dominant race. And the guy starting to pull came out on top. Let's see if those here again. With yeah. a new team, new car make, new number, new everything. Penny. Let's yeah. See he does. He's got Stanley on board with Ford and Richard Petty Motorsports uh, associated with Rash Fenway Racing's nationwide program or Hot League Cup Series program. It's time to start a new season and we are green. The Hot League Cup Series Season 3 is go. And good start for Kenny. Oh, we have very few rookies this season due to the amount of reserve drivers from last season. Uh, this season, uh, we have a reduced amount of rookies. And Whoa, there's a car at the tracks. That's Sean Galligan. I think that's Sean Galligan, the 38. Oh, it's not. It's a car that looked like it anyway. And... Oh, my, yeah, it's the other great clips car, Sebeka in the 30. Racing back here with John Worry in the 39. All good, and now new leader, Stephen Ellis, in the 33 this season. One of the prominent figures in, uh, in season one. Didn't do anything in season three. Did, coming home and disappointing 36th in the standings. Yeah, look at this. The pack racing is back, and... Holiday and Cup Series on YouTube is looking to bring back the memories of the old pack racing here at Daytona, Talladega, and other restricted plate tracks. Brendan McDowell, one of one of the most consistent, maybe the most consistent from last season. McDowell looking to take the lead in that 81 car. Here's Seth Cole. And a three of Sean Henley. Henley uh, coming back with a new team as well with Wrangler sponsorship with and Advocare as well. A little pack separation. Let's see what's happening at that backpack. That's Robert Ben. He's falling back a bit. Here's Sebeka with a... This is, I think this is the pack where uh, you're going to see these guys trying to hang back. Anyway, with that big one that maybe occurred. Look at, the, look at these teammates here. Mark Edwards Papia, and Stefan Papias. Uh, the, there's a couple of good friends back there. Two. Brian LaFlair, John Dillon, Jeff Brakeman, a rookie, Evan Earnhardt, another rookie. Two. Two. Uh, 
Fitzpatrick definitely. Oh, that, oh, oh, we had a wreck. It must have been that Robert Band car. There he is. G Oil, one of primary sponsors for this season. And up front is still Fitzpat, uh, McDowell, I mean. And there's CJ Sorensen in the 32. Really is, and uh, Chris Summers. And here comes some other cars catching. There's Jesse Kaplan in the 15 now, and now coming up is the two set tax slayer cars: Jonathan Fell, Brian Lafleur Jr., along with John Dillon and Evan Earnhardt. All right, let's get back up to the front. Let's see what's well, going man, on. I'm really surprised you guys have, have not had one wreck yet. Look at this guy's been racing, and look at this pack. It is huge. And look at this. What a big draft we got here. Nice single file online. Yeah, doing a great job. And here's uh, the, uh, McDowell really holding his own out here. There's, there's DJ Sorensen, the brother of CJ. CJ uh, recommended this series for DJ, and DJ accepted. And here he is running fourth with the 89 team making their re reappearance in the series. Look at that. Younger brothers working together, and I and John Dillon and CJ Sorensen have been running near each other in the early going. It's kind of ironic. But uh, now they're not. But this is another thing that's ironic. John Dillon is actually pushing a Holiday Inn car. <laughs> and uh, there's Timmy Pacioli. Boy, these guys are doing a nice job. Oh, oh, Rick! Hernandez in the wall! Jack Richards! Oh! Sebeka and... Oh, Spina involved. Oh, that was a bad wreck. Spina might be better than Fitzpatrick, then, not the super base. He's very good here in the super base. He was definitely good here today. He proved that last season. I don't think he has that much, man. Richards, a lot of damage, but the worst, definitely the season one champion, Angel Hernandez. So unfortunate. After after the way his season went last season. Let's see what happened here. I think he got put in the wall. Going in this is, the is that line. Corey Williams? I think that's the 88 of Corey Williams. It is the 88. And then there's the wall. That's uh, Brandon Tedisco. Let's see what happened here. And Corey Williams here is gonna, yep, he's gonna turn Hernandez. Yeah, coming to the corner. My screen froze. I didn't see Tedisco in the wreck. Oh, I would like to see how he made it by. First one to, I saw slow down was the 97 of Joshua Courier right here. The 99 car of Jack Richards. We saw him get involved. There's Ospina. And the other one was Sebeka. He's, he's behind. All right, let's see. Williams is going to... Right yeah. Right there is main contact. It's like, I think they're going to come down on the 21. Yes, Theo Stiegel there. And he's going to shoot right back at the track. We've seen this so many times. Oh, boy. He almost took out his teammate, Alex Filter. And he's going to hit the, the wall. He's going to start scraping it. And he's going to lose a lot of speed. I'm thinking that the one car might have made some contact. To Disco? Uh, no, he dodged it. To Disco dodged it. Courier dodged it. I think maybe he was just too squished in the back corner. Oh, I think it might have been Richards. Maybe it's no. Yeah, Richards. Oh, oh, yeah. Hernandez ends up getting turned. Oh, wrong place, wrong time for Jack Richards and Diego Espina. Seth Cole Did make Seth a little Cole? contact? Cole? Nope, nope. Look at Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers makes a little yeah. contact. Oh, look at... Not too much, though. And Ospina, he looks like he's okay. Now, where is the 30 going to come in? Let's see. Right. Oh, sorry. Who's he going to hit? He's also going to hit the two. He hits the two. Oh, oh! And he, and he hits Ospina. Oh, that was a hard hit there. I think he, you could say he's done. Yeah. Hernandez is done. There's Richards. Oh, Spina's back Richards, on the track. He, and I don't. Hmm, let's see. Hey, back out. There's a spin up. There's our leader. Uh, let, let's give a call to the guy in second, Trent Dunham. 
our rookie in the series. Uh, doing a nice job so far. Sega Cup Series, and the Mobile One Nation One Series, and the Mountain Dew Code Red Truck Series, and the Sega Rally Tournament. <laughs> yeah, and... and uh, uh, stuff thing going on over there on the Trent the Hedgy channel. And this is uh, the first MFMPRA League. Uh, I, I don't know if he races in Super Cup, but this is the... Um, uh, I, 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 for all I know, this is the first... And this is the first MFMPRA league he's competing in. Um, he was in the roster for season two of the Cashel Cup series for that dive. Yeah. Him and Red Bell. Richards is back. Oh, well, we're both in there. Is Red, Bell, is Red Bell is kind of different. Jack Richards is back on the track we saw. So. And who is the 19? Uh, Dougie Shears. The TriStar Motorsports, a new team in the series. Who's the 19? Yeah, Dougie Shears. And then his teammate, uh, the identical paint scheme, different number, Joseph Lombard. All right, here we go. The pace car is going to pull off, and it's, once again, Brendan McDowell out in front. New sponsorship from Daystar.com this season. And he has an identical paint scheme as his teammate, Jake, uh, Jake Rogers, in the 82. So here we go. And three, two, one, we're back green. Green, green, green. And down, it's a good start. Part is around lap 11. We're halfway home, ladies and gentlemen. League stays a 20 lap race, if I'm correct. It is. Shears right. helping Dunham. And there, uh, look, remember we saw this car near the back of the field early on. Stephen Poppy is, Poppy is, is running fourth. And there's another rookie, Danny Wells, running fifth with the 70 yeah, team. I'm really, I'm and we got two in the top five. All right, here we go. Back up for look at Wells make a nice move down to three under Papias. Here comes Papias' teammate, uh, Mark Edwards. Made the chase last season, won Indy. Looking to have another good season here. Columbia. Columbia got involved in a wreck in the Bud shootout. Look, there's the other hefty car. Hefty, hefty. Yeah, <laughs> there was a third hefty car, hefty, hefty, hefty. <laughs> yes, Sean Galligan. And look, there's your Bud Shootout winner, Matt McMurray. Trying to make some headway here. He's got Stephen um, Dillon behind him. Yeah. And back up front. It's still McDowell holding his own, just like he did last season. This 81 team uh, has got a very strong driver in Brendan McDowell. He's looking to win that championship that he came so close to last year. I, mean, I don't see him. The back here, I see Dylan. There's Fitzpatrick back there as well. They're always strong. There's the tax slayer cars. There's there's three. Oh, where is he? Oh, way back here. Something must have happened. Huh. We'll uh, have to see what he does. Here's Sean Galligan, and he's got. I tell you, if if uh, when those road races road races come around, Turner Motorsports is the team to watch. They've got the two best in the business, Sean Galligan and Stephen Dillon on that team. So, uh, that that team's going to be... Also, CJ. He's always... CJ. CJ. CJ uh, was very good on the road course last season. There's Stephen Dillon now pushing Brandon McDowell. Connor Breton in the 87 per, uh, with Perky Jerky. Kimmy Räikkönen. Uh, and there's CJ. There he is. Waiting for him to come to the pic come to the picture. He's always up front. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, round post Dunham! Save it! Oh, oh man. Save it. Oh my goodness. That was a oh, man. catastrophic right there. That could have been big. But they Six to go. Someone needs a challenge. Someone needs to challenge McDowell. I know. <laughs> He's not budging. Every lap of this race. 
CJ is in second. Facing uh, one of one of his good friends and challengers from last season. And we lost Harry Jones. Same story as last season. And there's John Dillon! Wow. With Fitzpatrick, Joshua Courier. And look at this single file line at the front. Steven? Yeah. Can you still see the screen? I guess not. <laughs> anyway.